Okay, here we are at Hammerfest United, Hard Rock Hell. I'm never really knowing what to call this festival. There's so many names for it. It's HRH TV anyway with Matt Stocks and Camphor who are headlining the second stage this evening. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, that must you be. You just go where they put you and rock. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Doesn't matter, you know. Yeah. We, we're here, so yeah. It just doesn't matter where the stage is. Yeah. Um, you know, where in the world it is. You always bring the same show, right? Do you sort of notice? Because I imagine by now you've seen most of the world. Do you notice distinct sort of differences between crowds in, say, Europe, South America, or is it a general sort of you know overriding similarity across everywhere, which is people all over the world just like to headbang and let loose? Sort of it is, but uh, I mean it's still different, of course. It, it, of course it is, but I mean it's, I think that's that's the same thing with every band. You know, they have their kind of. You know, some places like for us, like for Comfort, it's insane every time in France, for instance. I don't know why, but it's it's just like that, you know. And uh, going to Germany, uh, it's very, very good, you know. But I mean, uh, you of course you have some fan bases which are more stronger than others. More stronger, yeah. I cannot, I don't know, but I, basically it's the same, you know. But, I mean, and you can never really tell or determine how or why that is, can you? You just sort of roll with it, right? Yeah, more or if, less. If you, if you play a show in France, for instance, you know that people are enjoying themselves when they go crazy and they mosh pit and they headbang and they crowd surf and everything. In Norway, for instance, you know that people are enjoying themselves when they're standing like this, nodding. So right, just there is a cultural in. difference, right? Exactly. <laughs> I've heard in Japan that they uh, don't clap in between songs as well, right? Yeah. So when the song finishes, they kind of stand and then wait for the music to start up again, and then they go crazy, and then they stop. Yeah. That must be quite weird, because you're thinking, are they liking it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we, we don't really think like that when we're on stage. I guess maybe we did that back in the days, but we don't think like, like that, because we know what we're bringing, and um, you know, it's, it's up to the audience to interpret it or react in the way that they want to. I like that, yeah. the confidence and a belief in what you do and just knowing that you're delivering and yeah, exactly. take it, enjoy it, yep. and also do with it what you will. Yeah. I also think that that changed a bit uh, during the years, you know, because we have been doing this band next year, we're doing it for 25 years, you know, and in the beginning you were always nervous about how people reacted, but you sort of not anymore. You get to a certain point, you go, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> you get too old for that shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's not that you don't care, but yeah, I mean, yeah. it's, it's a different approach. Yeah. Um, in terms of the UK, how's the UK treated you over the years? What's your relationship with your fans like over here? And how do you enjoy, you know, the festivals and the club shows as well in the UK? Well, the thing with Comfort, though, is like, we haven't done this much stuff in the UK. We have a very close relations with London of course done many shows in London but uh, apart from that we have been doing something you know here and there but I mean uh, basically we need to do more shows in the UK and that's why we also agreed to go here because this is actually we never done a festival ever in, in 25 years in UK oh wow uh, and this it's is a uh, debut right now <laughs> yeah, it's a debut, it's a <laughs> debut. For choosing us. Yeah, yeah exactly so uh, it's time to change something, you know. But it, we, we're kind of strange band like that. We're, we're from Norway, and it took us, yeah, at least. Let me see. It took us around, uh, you know, 15 years or something to go really strong in Norway, you know. So I mean, uh, we've always been a band that has been playing so much more in the central of Europe, you know, been much bigger in central Europe and now we have to sort of focusing on other parts and UK is one of them yeah was it rewarding once you did ultimately conquer your your home turf as it were because that must be a bit of a crown jewel in your you know international fan base to know that you've finally connected with people who you know are your your kin yeah of course I mean for us we uh, last year we won the Norwegian Grammy for the best uh, metal album, deal. and then um, uh, you know, we, I think it meant more for um, our families than it did for us. <laughs> but, um, they get to be proud parents. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But I mean, uh, but solo, it uh, made a big, not a big difference, but a little bit of difference in Norway at least. You know, when you win a Grammy, you sort of um, 
everyone in the streets sort of uh, notice you yeah. in a different way, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And that has uh, been uh, some way or another a positive approach for us, of course. Right on. Yeah. Well, good luck tonight. Enjoy your UK festival debut. Yeah, yeah thank Headlining you. Headlining isn't bad. You know, you hold off long enough to get the sweet slot. <laughs> um, thanks for stopping by the show. Yep. Are you staying in a little uh, chalet or caravan overnight tonight, or are you going to be on to the next thing, whatever that no. may be, after the show? We're actually going back to Norway on Sunday now. Right. Uh, yep. We were in Manchester yesterday. We had a nice time there. So. Uh, we're going back to Norway now, and then uh, in two weeks we're going for a uh, small tour in Spain and Portugal and other countries that we also need to do more, you know. So uh, basically now everything is very, very good to be here in this family park. It reminds me of a uh, uh, right. vacation. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's wind in the sail, and um, don't leave it too long before you're back over here. No. Have fun tonight. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you. Rock and roll.